In laser powder bed fusion additive manufacturing, where does the powder bed come from? I'm at the Technical University of Denmark in Copenhagen, where researchers have developed an open source laser powder bed fusion system. And among other things, this gives us the opportunity to take a close look at how the powder bed is made. So most laser powder bed fusion machines in general work roughly the same way that I'm about to describe. It begins with powder metal being delivered from the hopper to a position right in front of the recoder arm. Not much powder metal at all because each layer increment of the powder bed is thin, maybe 100 microns, maybe less. So a small amount of powder metal is delivered just ahead of the recoder and the recoder blade pushes that powder metal across the surface of the build chamber, pushes it out, smooths it out, pushes it across the build platform. The powder metal accumulates only on the build platform because that platform has dropped by a small increment, dropped by the layer thickness, creating the gap that's available for that powder metal to fill in. The recoder blade might be soft, might be hard, might be non-contact. A soft, replaceable recoder blade has become commonplace, and that's the type of recoder blade that this machine uses. A hard recoder blade can provide better compaction of the metal powder where that's needed, and a non-contact recoder system using air pressure to provide the same function can allow for more freedom and of movement and distortion of the part during the 3D printing build. So what we're seeing here is laser powder bed fusion with stainless steel, 316 stainless. The layer height is just 50 micron, so that small amount of metal powder at every single layer is pushed out by the recoder arm with the recoder blade providing for a smooth and compacted layer of metal powder so that when the laser beam engages with that everywhere that it travels, it encounters a precisely consistent amount of metal powder with which to do the 3D printing. We are looking at other elements of laser powder bed fusion in videos like this. So find the related videos in links in the description. Find also a link to our report about the development of this open source laser powder bed fusion system. And if you'd like to know a lot more about the basics of additive manufacturing, take a look at gbm.media slash am101.